Start with the great name of Almighty Allah, who is the most merciful and most beneficent, who is Rahman and Rahim, and who gave us the power of speaking. Honorable Chief Guests, respectable teachers, and my dear fellows, Assalamu Alaikum. The topic which is declared to me, that is the life of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Respectable Chief Guests, nearly 1400 years ago, the people were engaged in cruelty, demands, illiteracy, superstition, ignorance, and a lot of social evils. Then Allah Almighty raised the Prophet, Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, among themselves to bring them in the light of faith. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born at Makkah in 571 AD. He belonged to a noble tribe called Quraysh. His father name was Azrat Abdullah Raziallahu Ta'ala Anhu and mother name was Azrat Amina Raziallahu Ta'ala Anha. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not do any bad activity from his childhood since up to his whole life. Helping of poor people was a formality of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. People loved his purity. After coming of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the shape of Arabia civilization was completely replaced with ideal conditions. The drinkers became worshippers, the vagabonds of Almighty Allah became the lovers of Almighty Allah, the enemies of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam became the loyals of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the omitters of Islam became the developers of Islam. Hazrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala and has said about the life of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his morals and characters are an embodiment of the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran clearly mentions about this aspect of his life. Indeed in the Messenger of Allah Almighty you have a good example to follow for him who hopes meeting with Allah and remembers Allah Almighty. Hazrat <coughs> Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was revealed the Holy Quran the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam preached people to trust in Allah Almighty is all life a sublime example of precept in the midst of persecution in the loneliness of Makkah in the battles of Uhud and Hunan the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam complete faith and trust in Allah Almighty appears as the dominant feature in his life the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to Taif to preach Islam the people there threw stones at him on this occasion of trial, Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam asked the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, O Muhammad, speak, if you so wish, I will destroy them. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam quietly replied, O gracious and merciful God, show them the right spot for they who do not know what are they doing. And make it known to them that I am their great well-wisher. History shows the most ideal era of human civilization was that when Islam ruled over the world. Even Jews considered the Muslim government as a golden age in their history regarding their rights and liberties. Dr. Michael Hurd, I.G. Wales, Dr. Rabindranath Tagore, Mahatma Gandhi, Justice Rana Bhagwandas, and many, many more who declared and accepted that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the greatest and successful in spiritual and material world. Once he wrote, Ishq ho jaye kisi se koi chara to nahi, Ishq ho jaye kisi se koi chara to nahi, Sin Muslim ka Muhammad pe ijara to nahi. There are 400 poets we see in Hindu history who wrote verses in the praise of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He gave us practical institutions to meet the challenges of life and become a successful person. I would like to declare that our responsibility is to pick up the instructions of Ali Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and act on the rules of Islam to get even. At the last, I would like to end my speech with this couplet Ki Muhammad se wafa tu ne to hum tere hain Ki Muhammad se wafa tu ne to hum tere hain Ye jahaan cheez hai kya? Lahu kalam tere hai Thank you